Hello and welcome to another VOD review. This time we're heading over to the Chinese Contenders region. Uh, we had the grand finals between Team Chaser and Billy Billy Gaming. Um, it was, I don't, honestly don't know much about either of these teams. I don't watch Chinese Contenders, but everyone has said it's an absolute banger and the VOD is enormous. It's a three hour VOD, so we're, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna full send. Uh, we do know a couple of these players. I like, I feel like I've heard of Linksa, I've heard of Kaneki. Um, obviously from, uh, I feel like I've heard Kyo as well. I know, uh, Aprita is also expected, I've heard a little bit about, uh, recently as well, so. Oh, Liege as well for Billy Billy Gaming, obviously. Links at no, Lengsa. <laughs> Your bang to start so we're just gonna get into it uh we're just gonna watch and just appreciate the gameplay uh people said this was a banger of a match won a championship as a team and they there been time so we're just gonna get into it keep it going like this however a pretty gonna be sticking onto that McCree, so we're not gonna see a full hit 800 or boo that is 800 offer a little bit more utility in trying to deal with these engages coming in from 800 and from the game sounds are so low excitement actually between these two to see who's gonna be able to get yeah the game sounds are so low compared to the casters pretty is pretty good okay so what are people playing they're playing uh wrecking ball zaya Brig Anna? It kind of feels like they're trying to play like the monkey double bubble, but they don't they don't want to play monkey on this map. While Billy Billy Gaming's playing the Ash Brig Zen Bull Sig. I don't hate that. I kind of like it. I, I don't know if you I'd want the Sigma over the Diva, but I don't hate it. Move cursor, sorry. has to be forced out of recall here and this should be pretty uh, yeah so I, i'm excited to see this game i think someone said it goes to eight maps am i right to do so and finally team chaser flips it back over as riven gets taken down very early nice stick from alpha yeah alpha sticks around just constantly looking for that no pop off on ruins like custody that's true can't can't keep up with me it's a lot of maps eight maps some of them Feel like the Sigma is left to dry. Well, he's sort of being like the pseudo frontline, right? He's sort of supposed to be the threat. You want, you're like, you're sort of like, hey, dive me. Against the McCree, I like it. I think if they were playing Tracer Sombra, I'd rather have the, uh, the D.Va. It is interesting that none of the contenders regions have really played that much Tracer Sombra. We saw a little bit of it in NA. Oh, yeah, exactly. That's who he was going for. Pineapple gets a nice reposition onto x-ray can't seem to stay there 60 percent and still climbing for billy billy as they rotate back from team chaser final pineapple coached the pile drive down yeah. onto lp that was really unlucky unfortunately but still a fight win for billy billy gaming here the nano glimpse right. billy, billy billy's kind of owning too often a nano hammond but i actually don't know who wins this as well so rich with 75 percent ticking up for billy this is, we're, we're all we're all we're all learning here and we're in close to that last fight territory here so right, uh, I I don't really like the Zaya. Has the Zaya got a grab yet? I don't think so, right? Like I don't think the Zaya is doing anything, right? Like it just feels like the Zaya is probably gonna have zero energy the entire game, just like hoping for. Oh, that was close. Like finally gets the grab and then they just transcend it, right? The Zaya doesn't make sense to me in this comp. The overlay font is weird. This is how it is in uh, in the Asian client. It's going to be a real challenge. Oh, okay. Two, pineapple and irony. Alpha wow. Hyper a Prita really saving this one. And now you actually have team chaser with that hard swap. You're going to watch all eight masks? Probably. Yeah, that's the plan. I mean, we're gonna blaze through them though. We're not gonna, we're not gonna, we're not gonna dawdle. We're not gonna pause even if I end up in a tangent, just because you know it's gonna be a long vod. Dinks two people from afar, and the fight is just now one for Team Chaser. And apparently, actually, looks like they're gonna be sticking onto this Widowmaker, so they have a pretty decent. This Widowmaker, I think this Widowmaker is probably gonna win them that fight, but I doubt they're gonna win the round. I think they're just not gonna have enough pressure with with a Widow and a Zaya, That's probably negative charge. I just, and like Brig, I just don't think Team Chase is going to have enough damage to like stop Billy Billy from just walking forward, right? They have to hope the Widow just gets like a bunch of kills. Like they can't even really get 800 off of the point. Oh, that's important though. That'll do it. 
Pyongyang all alone and Contenders website. Ah, uh, this is on YouTube. It is called Contenders China Season Two Playoffs Day Four. Team Chase of us, Billy Billy. That they're playing in this dark area of the point where a Prita can't really get easy shots. All right, now they got alts. Now they, they're gonna get the uh, Riven actually got another grab, so Riven's actually done a pretty good job. He potentially be grabbed or minefield. This is just Billy Billy Gaming being so afraid of these sight lines and of this Aprita play that they are playing as if they don't have a response. And we're ticking up to 80% right now for Team Chaser. This is last fight territory for both of these teams. Time to practice your Mandarin. Oh, well, they're not talking in Mandarin. That was an interesting pulse bomb. Oh, here, hit someone. Alright, well, Team Chase are proving me wrong. I think that pulse bomb fight was such an important fight to win, right? They could just, like, blow all of their ults there to just win the fight. Wow, that's crazy. The words? Oh, no, nah, the game. <laughs> Alright, let, let me try and listen for the, for the Graviton Surge. How old is this game? This game's not that old. A week or two? October 19th? Yeah, 10 days. I think Avril casts it. I don't know. Avril doesn't cast this. Switching up get good get a lot of value with flashbang in these enclosed spaces and basically make the life of Billy Billy Gaming's tanks. The text flanking DPS of Pineapple miserable. Pineapple coming out not a mimicry this time around. Still gonna stick that tracer. Feel like that's gonna be an I see none. selection. Oh I, I guess at the top to I don't know what any of that says though. <laughs> time until point uncaptures. I love this player's name, Alpha Alpha Yi? Pineapple? Oh, just pineapple. <laughs> Alright, so we get to see the double bubble come from Billy Billy this time. I like the I like Billy Billy's comp more than the ball comp with X-ray. But last time I oh last time I doubted Team Chaser. They won. Uncaptures. Unlocks, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah, that's it. Better job, I think, at taking down and checking pineapple because pineapple is already way ahead in terms of pulse bomb. And you can see a Freda taking the sign angle, trying to get some shots. Oh, nice. Hyun Jay, I don't know what he was looking at. Hyun Jay irony eliminated as well. Just finding that angle necessary. Just that almost felt too easy. It felt like they just walked in for free. Fight up with Riven leading the charge. It feels like whichever team moves first is usually the team that's going. Alpha, to you seems promising, really. Okay. It was Billy Billy Gaming who moved first. As I said, I've been pretty critical of Architect. I feel like he hasn't really had that impact ever since he went to the Spark. His stats and he just like the eye tests haven't really been very impressive. Completely ends right there. And now Team Chaser have full control of this point. X-ray looking for a pile driver from this high ground, but gets scouted out. Yep, scouted out by the echo play from Alpha E again, having to be super careful because the follow through, if that half health can be so efficient. That back line, the pulse bomb, not going to get any value here. Does toss it out, but you will see pineapple. Let's go, pineapple. Out of that exchange with the pulse bomb onto Langsa. Now, with Irony down, is it even one for one on the support line? Riven continuing Big to try field. and progress. Nano Zaya. Just murdering people. Ray gets the minefield and the execution on the second support. Why does it feel like Riven's like a Zaya one trick? Oh! Oh, what a sleep as well. Pineapple. Oh, wow. He almost got saved by 800. That's a really bad play by 800. Using the primal to try and save the tracer. Even if he saves the tracer, I don't think the primal does anything. Riven's also known as Die. Okay. How does Lungsa? I have no idea. You guys have to look at that one for you. Putting them into the waiting arms and zoning them into Riven, who was fully charged up and had a nano at the same time. So, Team Chaser taking this up 70% for them. They have a grab surge to work with. Billy Billy Gaming don't have anything to counter. Oh, good grab. Is the follow up there, though? Not really. That copy is not very good, though, for Alpha. He's probably not even going to get a grab, right? Five seconds? Yeah, he's probably not even going to get it. Now looks to try. They're not even gonna be able to oh, yeah, he's not going to get it. Oh, oh Kaneki is in trouble. <laughs> and Kaneki just led them to a Prita and then was just like, good luck, a Prita, and then just fucking ran. Alright, now to Riven again. Good nade. Oh, woo! That was a nice stick by Kaneki onto the Echo. Goes down in tandem by Keo. This should be Team Chaser taking this map. They lost it late yesterday, but now they're gonna come. Why does Keo sound style. familiar? That's Was Keo on an our team at some point? Rich Rat and Kenobi is uh, who are doing this. Chengdu, yeah, I, I thought he was on Chengdu at some point.
space away from 2019 2020 he didn't play much did he i feel like Got a little bit charged i don't remember him that much be on that zarya dumb bubble compositions for both of these teams and I was gonna. We were. We saw pineapple kind of go for the widowmaker at the start, but now gonna be going over to that ash. All right, so we're gonna get double bubble again. You can sort of see a preference here from Billy Billy at both teams. Oh, I feel like we're just gonna see a lot of Brig Anna in this match. X Ray is actually gonna go over to the Winston though for the first time, but it's you know it's Anubis. You pretty much have to play Winston. I remember Kaneki on the roster. I don't remember. Maybe I do remember Kia. Double bubble is pretty fun. I think it's a very honest comp. I like double bubble. But the hyper focus swap onto Hyunjae is a big one. Yeah, Hyunjae may maybe flying a little bit too close to the sun, like you were mentioning, and goes down, and that means Billy Billy Gaming can't really move forward without that pocket for Alpha Yi. And that's something that actually X Ray has been doing a really good job of, as kind of focusing down or just at least is that main flex sport during 2019 okay maybe that's why he's familiar i like i i no, it seems to be like coming back to me more than anything like here it makes sense definitely rung a bell oh that's uh that ash is just so out of position no way they're gonna keep him alive uh, i don't know if that works oh he gets keo though Barely by the skin of their team. That was a pretty good primal by 800. Uh, not enough. The problem with that primal is I felt like no one could take any space with him. Wow, Kaneki. Oh, they're not even going to get a tick? That's savage. Yeah, I mean, we're seeing again how well Team Chaser played against Timer Zoom with this counter engage style where even if. <gasps> that was Alpha. Oh, he used the copy? Oh, I don't like some of this ult usage right now in this game. That's the second time that Billy Billy has thrown away an ult that they have no reason to throw away. The Mercy's still going to die. So even though he's going to live throughout this whole process, right? Even with the primal, there, there's no one's... He's not going to get anything and the fight's going to be disadvantageous because the Mercy's already dead, right? If he's going to use the copy, the Mercy should back. But then that's just a bad use of both ultimates anyway, right? I mean, this defense has been so good for Team Chaser and Billy Billy Gaming looked like a little bit lost. I think it's Kyo. Kyo. Oh, it's Kyo, not Kyo. Uh, Kyo. Buys a little bit more opportunity here for I don't know. Yeah, I'm not a caster of their, their officially of their games. Like, I don't really mind. Not getting it right. Kyo. Kido. All right, there you go. It looks like they're getting space now. Yeah, they should be able to get this cap as well. They have no ults. I think Team Chaser should fight this, try and get ults out. That's all they want to do. Like, I don't think you ult and commit into this fight. I think you just try and hope that... Like, you want to get that Zaya to grab. If they can get the Zaya to grab, ah, uh, they're not going to get it. Uh, that's not very good now. Really good alt patience as well coming in from Billy Billy Gaming. Understand yeah, it's a good cow. That's a good shout out. Oh, they did use the. Oh no, they didn't use the rally. They had a mercy before. Um, yeah, that's really important that they kept the primal and the grab because they're gonna need these. They want to win this first fight. Going with the one. Going with the Winston takes. Oh, very early. I would say almost too early from Team Chaser on this one. Yeah. This is not good for them. Oh, they bobbed as well. If they don't get any... Oh, that's a great grab. <gasps> no! That was such... That was so well played by Billy Billy. Like, that whole series of events was so well played until that Zaya dies. Damn, that sucks. If the Ana had nanoed the Zaya there, that would have been insane. I don't know if he had that nano, but... Like you mentioned, has to go back here. Still, Billy Billy Gaming coming in with the treasure trove of ultimates. Team Chaser, again, has been doing such a good job of making these like early engagement that Billy Billy Gaming is not ready for. They don't seem like they're ready in these scenarios to deal My with. My traces are very impressive. I, yeah, everyone seems to be chilling right now. I haven't noticed anyone hard popping off on either team yet. Ooh, don't like that copy. I just don't think he's going to get a grab. I don't really like copying Zaya unless you're like really sure you're going to get it. But I guess who else are you going to copy? I think the Winston. I actually like copying a Winston because I think you can go deep. You're almost always going to get Primal. It's just a waste of time for them to kill you. So it's like they're never going to put that power in. Dude, Kaneki is actually kind of pounding. I take it back. I think Kaneki is actually the, probably the person who's taking control of this game right now the most. It's the second or third multi-kill we've seen Kaneki get. 
it duplicate from Alpha Yi there. Zarya is kind of almost one of the worst tanks to duplicate because you need to make sure that if you're doing it, you're getting Graviton Surge. And there, Team Chaser just completely played around it. And Alpha Yi, a tool that should be used for engagement, just doesn't find end up finding any value. Irony still holding on to this Nano, most likely throws it onto 800 here, throws him in to try and create space. But you're walking into a Graviton Surge and a Rally. What, what are we waiting for? So what are we waiting for here? We're, we're going so slowly. 800's already in before the Nano even goes. And fortunate that they didn't get punished for more for that. Oh, Alpha Yi's lost. Oh, that's nice that that Mega was there. Chaser just used every ultimate they have. I think if you if Billy Billy can stabilize here, they're in a good spot. Trade. Oh, they're not trading effectively enough. Billy Billy's not trading enough. Damn, they they can come back in with their other ultimates. How hard it is for Team Chaser to get, or for Billy Billy Gaming to get in and get these kills. Alpha E gets in there with the duplicate. Kind of weird that Chungu kept Terry Cookie over Kaneki, but you could also be in the situation. Remember, like it could have been the player's decision. Maybe Kaneki doesn't want to play. Like, if you're on a team with Leave and you're sitting on the bench, when does Kaneki ever play? And I think that's the problem that you run into. Is like, do, as a player, do you want to be in a team in which they will never bench Leave for? So, um, like, sometimes it's better to go to contenders and hope another out team picks you up or something like that, right? So it's like, it's not just about, like, oh, yeah, like, why would you, wouldn't you want to be on the roster? It's like, not if you're never going to play. Well, Jinmu as well, right? Like, leave Jinmu is just like... Be open to next season. It's interesting that I'm surprised Chengdu didn't drop more players, but I guess they also didn't utilize a lot of other. I don't know. I don't really understand what Chengdu are doing with their coaches and their team. Right? They have they have a good roster, but it feels like it's if they don't make any more changes, I don't think they're gonna do better than they did this season. Primal Rage also available to juggle them back. They're gonna start gaining this first tick, managing to get one because of that assistant pickup from Alpha Yi. As a Chinese player, it doesn't seem you have any options other than the Chong, uh, Hongzhou, Guangzhou, and Chengdu. Yeah, and that's that's uh, the unfortunate reality of it. But that's you know, at least they have options. You know, it could be season one of Overwatch League where there was nothing. Okay, they're gonna get in and get the cap. Came back in with all their ultimates. Um, but yeah, that's that's the uh, that's the unfortunate reality. Valiant, oh yeah, I guess Valiant, but you know, I like I honestly think joining the Valiant is career suicide. And that's like even if Valiant is supposedly throwing money at players, like they actually are spending money this season, like people unless they can start getting some big name signings and convince like a group of people to go together, as a player, you, it's not. Are they gonna not cap this? Okay, well, can just somehow just makes two happen? I still don't think it's enough, but it might be. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Enough. Okay, Kaneki they tried. came in they tried, pretty though. big with that. Major, well, Fucking two CP, dude. Yeah, we're just gonna no, allow. Just, yeah. We're just gonna allow. Make the conclusion that Billy Billy. Wait, what? Going to take this, and if they miraculously swap it, we're gonna eat our words. But again, why they're actually still gonna cap? Nice. All right, good. Aren't Chungu supposed to bring up Aprita when he comes of age? Maybe. As I said, like, I, I, don't, I, I don't know any any news about Chinese players or Chengdu or anything like that. I don't, I don't have any insight to those, so it makes sense. As I said, I don't, I, I think if Chengdu don't make any major overhauling changes, like, I think Jinmu leave is good. I want to have them pull in a consistent hit scan. Like, maybe Jimmy can be that guy. Um, and then they have Gaga as tank. Maybe it'd be nice to have a, another off tank. But then I just want to see some consistency in their backline, right? Just play, um, play e e either of them. I don't really care like who they play as their support line in the backline. But as long as they get consistency, they'll be good. Andus Nini, thank you very much for six months. Hello. But yeah, no one wants to. No one wants to sign for the Valiant. It's career suicide. It'll literally send your career backwards. Some people think that like, oh, being in the league is better than not being in the league. That's just factually incorrect. Do you think all the players who play for Vancouver Titans this year, most recent year, it was good for their careers to play on that team? As much as they maybe didn't have better options, would they have been better off going back to contenders than staying in... Because like, I feel like a lot of their careers just sort of tanked because of that, right? It's good for their wallets, yeah, but you, have, you know what's better for your wallets? To have consistent pay. 
and get paid like more like later and like i assume they weren't on big contracts with vancouver as well so it was on like big money i know it's because i'm thinking like the old time because you know again achilles heel the whole, they wore sandals the back thing. then in leather but now you're gonna put like sandals with like a couple Doing things of you can't form only for money yeah boot. just give them an iron boot and call it a day it's we're gonna now see like rule for, yeah and that's it like who, it, it, the question becomes if you're rule for it, it's like do you want to go back to contenders like i if these players like aren't going to get signed to another team and that's your only option maybe it's the play right like just sort of like have fun with it enjoy it and uh, while you can but you know i i said that like when i was retiring in 20 after 2019 i like i said i was never going to go back to contenders you know i respect players who go back to contenders play for very little money with a, a lot less you know competition and are willing to go back there because I I wouldn't do that as a player. So yeah, with Prita going down, that is a big deal. Billy Billy Gaming though, 800 is so low on health. To fair, Prob got more money than a nine to five job. I disagree with that. Unless you have like skills, like you can. If you live in the U.S., I don't think it's like I, I unless you have no skills or anything like that, right? Like you can try and you can find work. Maybe not off the bat, but yeah. Especially actually. If you are a ex Overwatch League player, there is a lot of collegiate schools that will pick you up, pay you, and give you um, tuition for collegiate. Like there are a lot of better options that you can get uh, in terms of in the collegiate space. Like that, it, that would be a hundred percent my recommendation. If you want to, if you're talking about money or you're trying to set yourself up for the future, go to collegiate for sure. Good. They, you, if you're, you can go as a player and become a coach. They'll respect you. If you want to go as a player, they'll, they'll probably sign you as well, right? Like, get, and then you get free education, right? You can do any degree that you want. And in the U.S., especially, right? The U.S. is expensive for, for schooling. If you can get that shit for free, that's a great way. Do you want to go back to college? No. I, I think I have a big enough resume. I think in esports that if I wanted to go into east, stay in esports or do other things, I think I could probably do it. Or in gaming against someone like Alfie, as i said like if I, I could always go to collegiate and overwatch as well um there is this looming fear for me that i have like let's say overwatch 2 bottoms out nothing happens um nothing happens with the league um that's a great grab and then overwatch dies i don't really have anything to my name unless i try and can find work in esports or thing i think i could probably do it but yeah, it would definitely be a stretch I know a lot of people. Did you get a degree? No, I don't have a degree. I dropped out of my engineering degree. Get a job like everyone else? Yeah, but what 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 job? Right? Like all of my skills in esports and that kind of stuff and like that. I, I feel like I could work in the, in an esports org or hopefully go into game development. That'd be awesome in some way. I would want to get a nine to five regular job, uh, but it's about getting in the entry level for that. Right? So that, that, that's sort of the question, but that's a that's a future that's a future future customer problem. I'm chilling right now. I'm able to fortunately and comfortably do talent, do what I love, get to stream on the side. I'm very fortunate with what I have, so I'm not not worrying about the future. Country do I live in the U.S. in L.A. Is a menace in the skies. Oh, that's a good grab. Yeah, nice. That only cost them that as well. So this, this is. Oh, did they get a tick for that? Are they not going to give them a tick for that? Are they? It's fucking thirty-three point three 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 two percent. Pixel away from getting that tick. That's got to be heartbreaking for them. But still got three and a half minutes to work with. If you're Billy Billy Gaming, you go to finish a degree. Yeah, I, I. There are options. I don't think I would ever go back to school. I'm 27. I'm not going back to school. And just a nicely followed up anti that I like maybe if it was something that I felt really passionate about and there was like I could fast track a degree to get a job that I wanted but I don't think I'd ever go back in a general sense be extremely careful about the upcoming you start a smoothie shop in Hawaii well me and Sab have actually got a uh if if the U.S. goes to shit for whatever reason and there's a lot of reasons that could happen uh we're, we're gonna open up a corgi conservation in Australia yeah we, we, we planned it all out in Hawaii we're good to go this is going to be really hard for Team Chaser to get in and get this cap because Billy Billy Gaming is in that set of like just cycling ults, right? They win with the grab and then they go in with the Echo Copy, Valk, 
Pri primal, and then next fight they can uh, play aggressive with the Nano Winston. Then hopefully they'll have a grab again, and then they'll just be able to cycle back and back and back. Patient with their ultimate, which I do like at this point. They know that they just kind of. Clutch is a scam, just start coding. Yeah, and like there's, as I said, I, I don't think I'd ever go back to school. I would rather, as you said, which is unfortunate, but it can find something. But I think I'd be fine. Charged up relatively quickly, but the rest of their ultimates. They're Future tropical smoothie shop all the time. <laughs> seen them be incredibly effective with those, and you have a pulse bomb to combo along with it for that big bang combo if you so choose to do so. Right now looking to the outskirts again, going into the dive to try and get some value with the primal rage going right into the. Just start coding forehead. The, the, here's here's why I don't think I would ever go into coding, right? Because I would never get good enough to beat these fucking zoomers. Doesn't matter how much time, how much work I put into it, I'm too far behind. The zoomers are going to be too good at that at that shit. I will never get to a point where I will be highly competitive against people like that. Another fantastic throw. That's a great. That, that was really well done by Team Chaser, going in with the rally, getting a high, finishing off grab. With a minute. Ooh, there goes Team Chaser. Time and time over a minute by 35 seconds. That means. What type of engineering were you interested? In? Well, that's a funny question because I was interested in civil and structural engineering until I wasn't interested in it anymore or engineering in general. So. Against the favorites here of Billy Billy Game. Now I'm not interested in it. I would never go back into engineering. I would say between both of these teams. I mean, even yesterday, Billy Billy was the one who started out strong, won two maps in a row, but this time. Just you don't need to be better than the Zoomers. You, there are a few people to work at the time. You just need to be average. This ain't out. Yeah, but I want to have a job that I like. Right? Like, if I was going to go into coding, I would want to get into coding in a, in a space that I like. And it would almost certainly want to be in gaming. And there's a lot of talented coders in gaming to the point that if I just want an average job where I code something for some random fucking company, I'm sure I could probably do it if I put in the time. But I want, you know, I want to be, I want to do something I'm passionate about, right? Winston dupe kits because Winston dupes are, I would say, infinitely better than Zarya dupes. Almost no one is working a job that they like. If we're being honest, I like my job, and I would wa I want to stay in this industry for the rest of my life. So, with because they adapted and because they put so much pressure onto 800, 800. Our video game program is not my job, yeah, and that's why I I wouldn't want to go into coding. As I said, I don't know, but I'll work it out. How about? I'll just become a stay-at-home corgi dad, and I'll, I'll let Sab grab the big bucks when Overwatch dies. They're not winning fights that easily, so it's just really good decision-making and adjustments coming in from Team Chaser. It's a later cost of problem, yeah, exactly. Fantastic DPS duo and fantastic team that is Billy Billy Gaming, and now they have a minute and 35 seconds to take a single tick here, and they will be going up to it. I code 9 to 5 and 8 much, but it's on its way. Okay, that's it. No reason to get out of esports is that I like I'm in a very fortunate position that I doubt I will have to go over this across this bridge of like getting out of esports. I have, I have a big enough resume, enough accreditation, all that kind of stuff. Um, to to probably be fine. In what I, no matter what I want to do, as long as I don't do something stupid and or just like jump out of the industry for a couple of years, like I'll be fine. What oh, Charles Overwatch dies? Uh, it'll never, I don't think, fully die. At least not for a very long time. The question is about like wh how much longer is there money in it? Like especially with Overwatch 2, it seems optimistic. You should be optimistic about a thing. Oh, they're gonna get the cap. How did they open that up? How did they open that up? Was that just a shot from the widow? Um. Overwatch 2, there, there's, there's a lot of life left in Overwatch and all that kind of stuff. Is he staying on it? He's actually going to stay on it. I was going to say, that's why I was I hesitating it. a I little bit. And I mean, game value before, Where's Billy Billy? What are they... The oh, the Winston just gets caught. It feels like they just did not control space at all. And then once the Widow gets space, it's over, yeah. So wait for Overwatch 3 if Overwatch 2 doesn't work out. As I said, I don't think I'll ever fall out of Overwatch, like... I'll, I'll stay with Overwatch as, as long as I love the game. And if not, then I'll try and pivot to a different game. I ha as I said, I can just stay in esports and whatever thing. As long as I'm not complacent about it, I feel like I should be fine. Alright, let's keep going. We'll see if they change anything in terms of like how they want to play aggressive. And with the Sombra, I mean, th again, this is very slow with what I'm seeing right now from Billy Billy Gaming. Sombra, relatively slow character. Echo, you kind of just want to sit there and spam. Team Chaser, though, we'll see how they're going to try and make these aggressions on the defense with X-Ray. Because I like that Sombra is to stop X-Ray from getting a lot of... So now we finally get a Sombra from Pineapple. Team Chaser is going to play the Ball Zaya on defense. They really prefer the Ball. 
honestly looking to try and round that section with Kaneki. They need to start capping. It's not bad that he, they're able to just sit there, yeah. As long as he keeps applying pressure, yeah, they're doing... This is pretty good for Billy Billy. Did they see, yeah, that is actually true. Did they make a pact to not play Diva? It is kind of interesting how little Diva is being played. Diva is such a high-level character, and almost all the teams in NA, like in Al have all like agreed that Zai is just nowhere near as good as Diva. It is interesting. That is an interesting point to make. Yeah, I mean, the thing about Team Chaser's composition... So looking like it might be a reverse sweep? I don't know. I feel like this is a much better map for Billy Billy. Like, they like playing Alpha Year and the Echo. I think this is a good Epico map. I think this is a better Winston's Eye map. If X-Ray wants to force the ball, I think this is a mistake. ...and just trickle down, and eventually Billy Billy Gaming win the fight just through that war of attrition. And I think the other thing that Billy Billy Gaming has done well here is... Which is just, just the threat of having a somber here from pineapple make Chinese contenders hate diva that seems so weird to me oh that seems so weird to me like diva everyone else in the world thinks diva is insane that should never happen by the way a somber should never be able to solo kills then this goes to eight masters has to be a draw that is true it's a good point one of my liege isn't playing liege was in for the first map right Distant from Keo still when that is interesting that he only plays control maps. I don't like that. I've talked about it before. I think just have play the same player everywhere. I feel like that's just an unnecessary switch, especially if they're not playing different heroes. Like, did they play D.Va on... Did they play D.Va on Ilios? Is Liege like the D.Va player? And the Bob as well. Is the EMP going to be used? Trying I think Team Chase is just really struggling to walk forward. And this is the problem with their comp. They are starting to get support ultimates, so they should be able to hold something off a little bit. But. Recontest with an EMP and a duplicate of their own. But Kadoma goes down. That's big. Oh. Why did he use Transcendence? But Kadoma goes down. That's big. To go out and then recontest with an EMP and a duplicate of their own. But Kadoma goes down. That's big. There's no way that's ever worth using Transcendence for. That is a mistake by uh, Keo. They're going to want that one back when Kadoma comes back with a grab. And I mean, it's not a bad decision from Billy Billy. He played Sigma. Oh, that's right. He did play Sigma. Yeah, that's interesting. To know that they're waiting out those ultimates and just be aggressive. Kaneki goes in the back line, gets a pulse bomb onto Kodomo. Sigma and Zion. Okay. Maybe he wants to be the Sigma player. I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't like that. I just, just have consistency. We're at a pretty scary point in this map because if you've played ranked, you know that this is like the worst place on the map to be held right here because you don't have any type of respawn advantage. So now they have EMP. They have grab. Oh my God. Very soon. Pineapple actually gets scouted out. So again, just it's very slow here, but now the round is going to be Cobalt Creation, thank you for the two months. A bolstered morale to try and compete against this payload as the duplicate comes through. Alfie going once again onto the Zarya. A lot of damage into the grab and try and generate another grab in time. Don't really like that EMP. I don't know what if what he thought was gonna happen. There's another grab. I don't like how Billy Billy is doing this at all. Oh, they're gonna live weather the storm. All right, they're gonna hold up. Just holy crap, that was close. If they lost that fight, they probably lose it. They probably get held on second point. They used every ultimate for that. A little bit like a wallet diff coming in there from Billy Billy Gaming, where they just is Riven playing Zai for all eight maps. It seems like it. Except for that Nano, and they end up winning that fight. Billy Billy Gaming now. Where did Wobble Wobble come from? I was really drunk um one night, and we were streaming, uh, and I was playing on my account, Mr. Wobbles, and I, I after murdering some dude, I, I yelled Wobble Wobble motherfucker, and that has been around for the last five years of my stream. The dive comes in from 800, and here come the mines. Mines are gonna be there to try and divide, so they can. In game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In game, I didn't. Well, now I'm starting to question my thoughts. Oh, why didn't he use beam? I feel like he could have got beam out there. At least get the nade out from that. Big body block. It does feel weird that Team Chaser is just playing Bull's Eye, bro. And you see the Origin clip? It's probably gone. Got hit in the great DMCA purge when I just deleted all my clips. I couldn't be bothered going through all the clips to find them all. Oh, Pineapple dies, though. Lost to the void of the internet, yeah. Be kill the bolt. Oh. Riven is just beaming fools. I don't think that's a good grab. Oh, unless? 
And at this point, Lynx has got to force out the rally, giving the armor to those that are close enough in proximity. Oh, oh, good EMP to close out. All right. I like it. Good job by Kodomo. There, there, there has been some interesting old usage, but sometimes I doubt it. But they, they, it feels like every, all, both of these teams, like every fight is winnable. Every fight is winnable if you just believe. Yeah, I, I, I Arissa Diva, Mercy Anna, Aris, uh, Echo Ash. And Team Chase is going to play double shield. I love the double shield switch. I think that's so smart. Yeah, they, they're just going to have so much more damage. And it's going to force Billy Billy to do something. I think this was a smart switch. So this Arissa shield from 800 will not really be able to stand anywhere and team chaser can just move forward aggressively and take it so much space away yeah riven's just chasing down irony on the back and oh actually get the pick up onto <laughs> yeah billy billy literally just cannot tr controls enough space does the quality get higher i don't think so but i'll i'll let me check for you billy billy hello really, ask us really overrun at this point the freaking brains on this team, dude. They're actually <laughs> being so smart. Like, everything they're doing... Does not get higher, I'm sorry. They see what Billy Billy Gaming is rocking with at the start. They know that there's only the single shield, so they pick basically every character in the game that can spam shield. And 800, you saw, was just on point, sitting there with no shield, having to retreat, and just gets blown up instantly. I mean, everything that team... Rich and Kenobi are my two favorite people. I honestly haven't listened to much of them. Um, because as I said, I just don't watch contenders. I mean, this is Elliot. such oh, nice. engagement. The picks are coming through. You had the I think Billy Billy is going to very heavily struggle to stabilize on this. They've already switched Riven back over to the Zyre as well. That's really smart by Riven. Like, sees them starting to switch back, goes like, hey, I'm better off just getting onto the Zyre because, they oh, I take everything back. I said nice about Riven. You... Potato sandwich. Oh, oh no. no. Uh, I think Team Chaser could have walked away with this second point for free, but I think they got a little too spicy for their own gameplay. This is the first match of the second. I assume the. I think assume this is the grand finals. So the second, because it's first of four. Oh yeah, I think they kind of dropped the spaghetti on this one. There, there is a point at this uh, where you are right now where you are on a composition where actually okay team chasers committing to this they Whoa. really want to commit yeah Kaneki comes in with the blizzard locks down one but the fact that you've got the duplicate now from alpha you're gonna instantly be able to catch up with an ultimate of their own so i'm fucking lost in the source right now turn damage they're committing it and you actually have oh you got that mail down there's no way time before being kicked out of the duplicate for them to uh team chase is dropping the spaghetti a little bit they're, they're just forcing things everyone's playing their own game as you said they're trying it feels like everyone's trying to win the game on their own they're just not working together bullseye yeah it seems to be the team chase is special i wouldn't be surprised the 800 switch to winston later definitely on third Scrub Desire, I think, right? Well, not if he has Nano. Oh, they got the... All right, there you go. I like that. We give the Nano a bit of time. Can probably kill it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kodomo just doesn't fear anything. Oh, was that a Mercy that they just whipped in there? That Mercy is so stuck. Yeah, that was... Yeah. With Team Chase, you gotta run everyone like fucking Chase's so ball. That's true. Use that transcendence in that moment, knowing that if they're nanoing the Zarya like that, most likely there is no ground. Really interesting if Chengdu poached an off tank from another con Chinese contender team. Not sure if the answer is uh, on Team Chaser. Yeah, it will be interesting. Like, I want to see if Liege plays for Hongzhou this year, because he was like the big off tank prospect, right? But I, I think if you're Chengdu, you definitely want an off tank player. Because Lei Young is gone, Else is gone, Amung's gone. I don't think oh you God, only commit to Gaga, especially when you have such a deep no, roster. Huge shout out to this support line that has just been so many opportunities. There's no way Kodomo didn't die. That was a panic grab as well though. Leech just tried to try and seal if I was on Chengdu. Yeah, but Leech didn't play. Okay, according to what he said with mental health issues, he didn't play on for Hongzhou. Like I don't know if you'd sign a player that actively couldn't play due to mental health. Yeah, 
Keo's didn't Hong Jung go Korean because of Shy? Shy's Chinese. And anties at the same time. Like, Keo's having a performance right now on King's Row. Even like, the, in a perfect world, we like, in, in a perfect world where we could do whatever we want, Chengdu would pick up Shy and Leash. Basically, they're most key ultimate. And Molly. To have him play a little bit more aggressive that would be that would be my that would be my dream team Winston dupe but actually got to see any dupes out pretty just beams him out of the air that's an early advantage you want to take to try and peek this corner since you they already had molly yeah and they gave him away pick him back up Qualifying. molly was nuts i don't know why they gave him to shanghai Propto 800 still getting some intel onto the positioning down below with the crit of king a little bit more close to that payload x-ray just getting gooshway is chinese yeah but i don't think you need gooshway I think Gaga is better than Gushui because he's more flexible. I like Gushui Monkey. Everything else by Gushui, I'm not a soul by. Oh, that's an unfortunate nano. That's not good. Dude, these guys are just yeeting their grabs all over the place. That rally is going to make it impossible. And then the EMP. This, this rally is going to get 9 million value. Before being able to wow, they're gonna hold like, still though. Oh, Prit is trying to duel with this echo, but the echo. And Gushui is borderline washed. I wouldn't go that far. I think Hongzhou has been having a lot of issues on top of just like one player, right? So I think it's hard to really know where Gushui is in the grand scheme of things. But like we've all seen Gushui and the Hongzhou Spark play brawl. It was like it was a tragedy. It's not gonna matter too much as the follow up isn't gonna be able to be there, but. Billy Billy Gaming, I mean, looking a bit scary in this next fight because they don't have a lot to work with LPEs getting... Yeah, they, they definitely need to pick up an off-tank DB. Alright, Mines should pretty much be free low for Billy, uh, for Team Chase to clear up. Team Chase should be able to get a pretty good run here. Who do you grab? Just the Zaya. Oh, that's a good grab. Wow, are they not going to be able to kill anyone again? <sighs> oh, nice. That should be it. Pineapple's on the Widow. gets the Kree, but it's not really going to... It's not going to be enough. Unless he gets like three more. Why did Asia play mostly ball last year? Because Shanghai proved that it was a better comp. Like, Shanghai proved to everyone that Wrecking Ball Briggs M was just a better, more consistent comp. I think there were certain places where you had to play like Winston or like Shields, but like a map looks like from Billy Billy Gaming, but not the same exact thing. They're not opting for the Zenyatta, it looks like or looks like Well it's the best main tank in the game to be fair, yeah. Especially in coordinated play. Winston just gets well, the fact that Brig exists in the game, Winston just really struggles to get value without nano boost. Ball is just such a threat. Oh, ball is just such a threat. Oh, there's a bit of diva from Kondoma as well. Oh no! Fortunately, they did get the kills. With the on a play, but irony right there just clutched that. Yeah, that was a. I, that might be like a map saving anti right there because 800 ends up dying at the very end but gets res back up. But 800 was a little bit. Out as we said, it is interesting that no one really plays diva, but. And the I don't like this widow pick. Damage coming in I don't like this Widow pick at all. He's just kind of hoping that he's going to get picks. 800 is just going to chill here. As like a desperation last type or last uh, chance thing like we saw on Ilya. <laughs> 800 just actually sticking in the back waiting to try and get the damage on to Langsup. Immortality Field's actually already been spent and Kadeki is... Yeah, the team chase is in so much trouble. So well, even despite 800 going down, Aprita manages yeah. to one, but everyone's going to fall in suit for Billy Billy defensively. This overtime is going to dwindle. They won't even gain the tick. And wobble, that wobble, motherfucker. Tragic Kevlar, thank you very much for the fresh stop. Welcome to the fam. Yeah, no takes is really important in a scenario like map. The custom Widow could have won this. That's true. I could play Widow, but no one else should. Like they're going to be opting for is there a diva or a liable tank too? it's not bad you really need diva is kind of like hedging your bets right you if you're going to play arisa diva you're kind of ho thinking that maybe they'll play like an echo or a Farah. like you're just sort of hanging uh you want to play defensive but you you want to have the diva in case they play like a dive diva's just so well-rounded that diva is always kind of solid right Sombra? okay so yeah so this is again a little bit more of that slower pace but if they can, you know, just, just want to note that Leech came back ready to play for Hong Zhou during the season, but the coaches wouldn't play him. Oh, really? I didn't know that was a thing. I, I only know that he, they made the announcement that he wasn't willing to play. So that's news to me. Bernard did have a pretty good season. I would say that, but I would have loved to have seen Leech. 
by Yi now elevating up top. But again, they are playing this extremely slow. Really, Pineapple not being able to get as much oh, value. The Beautiful anti onto both supports and drawing back. That is a pickup onto Pineapple. Kaneki gets traded out as well. Alpha Yi now moving forward. Billy Billy at this point needs to play a little bit quicker now because they're running out of Yeah, time. they... Really 50% towards that... They need to go with this Nano before yeah, Team Chaser starts getting, getting ultimates. Yeah, Otherwise, they're just never going to get a good fight. Unless he dives onto, like, a bunch of people, he'll get his Primal Rage. They don't necessarily have a way to rotate these ultimates effectively here. Oh, that was bad by Irony. That was really bad. I, I, I You understand the idea, but they, he just got... Oh, Billy Billy's dropping the spaghetti. So, so well played from Langsa right there. Irony was about to kill him, and then Langsa just hits him with a flail and takes him out. And the ultimate rotations from really League Gaming, they're not... We mean Jimmy, even though the man is still buzzing. Yeah, Jimmy's a good player. Pineapple is nowhere near his... E I mean, not nowhere near. He's at 70%. We'll most likely get him in this next fight, but we're in... We're getting close to that last fight territory, and Team Chaser, they're going to have all six of their ultimates. So regardless, this EMP needs to be so huge. But look how slow they're playing, Rich. Look at this. Oh! Leo almost gets to sleep onto that. Pineapple has to play so. Oh! Flashbang is there. They have to get that pick on. He needs to get the EMP. Ultimate economy is a full stack of six. In yeah, team cha They they've done such a bad job here. They've done such a bad job of utilizing their ultimates. Like they just haven't forced anything out of Team Chaser. They're just not being a threat. They put too much reliance on this Sombra EMP. Oh, that's a great primal. Oh, that's. That's a sad round if you're Billy Billy Gaming. Worth of ultimates in There's the no way they should have dropped this. Digressing back down to the point, they don't need to worry. The primal range comes out from 800 as a hail mary, but this overtime is going to dwindle and was at a 2-0. It's we're going out of. Hi, two and zero, Team Chaser. Like I would love to know the stats. Okay, Chinese on contenders that. on us, man. Flex supports. Next season will be Overwatch two, right? Isn't recruiting changed before we can see how the game changes? Yeah, but what's what's your how, how do you what's your solution to that problem? It's hard to it's hard to scout for a game or trial players for a game when you don't know what it's gonna be. But like, there's no solution to that problem. That's just how it is. Really good damage already up top from Alpha Yi onto the Winston play. This looks like God. It wasn't that bad. It just uh, it, that was really good play by Team Chase, just applying pressure. To step it up to try and compete against Keo. Now through this archway underneath, you even can see that Kaneki is just waiting to go in from that high ground position. Just chip. Chipping damage in with the pulse rifles. See if they is there even game sound? I mean, at this point, it's a real slow game going into this, and Billy Billy is. Yet so this is another map that I think is better for Billy Billy. I think any map where Winston is favored, I feel like Billy Billy is better at. Interesting that neither one's gonna play Diva again. I honestly thought teams would wait for beta. Nah, you can't just wait for everyone else to sign everyone. Like, let's be real. Overwatch Two is not gonna be. So different that the good players that you sign are going to be bad in Overwatch 2, right? So it's like, I think it's it's a pretty educated guess, right? It's not like you're you're like, I don't know what I'm signing for, right? We haven't watched Route 66 now. is anti, so he can't contest into this. Andy's hacked out. This might just be a point take here for Billy Billy Gaming. Yeah, this was a little free. Dude, how is 800 alive? Please, someone look at 800. For a good three, five, six seconds. Pineapple comes in onto Ribbon. Ribbon's getting the real short end of the stick in these engagements right now. Yeah, Pineapple is going to be able to get take down a couple members and Jun Jay just swinging around as this. Thoughts on Outlaws picking up Pelican? Yeah, it's good timing. Pelican's a good play. Really gaming again. Really like at the start of this, at least what I'm seeing from the contenders there. Love was I, yeah, it's kind of crazy. Making x ray kind of miserable. I wonder if they, they know something that the others don't, or they just Pineapple this is just what they do. A little bit slow on the defense on the DPS side, but I like that 800 and Kodomo are being used together to create space for Alpha and Pineapple. That's really what they have to continue doing. They have a nice time bank to work with as well. They have ultimates online. EMP gonna be that big one. With that EMP coming online, they have to find big. Value up top, sleep comes through onto Alpha Yi. Primal Rage comes online, but I don't think it's going to really gain any value because by the time they drop below to use it, it's going to be completely out of it. Actually, double Primal at least for a hot <laughs> moment. So there's going to be a lot of juggling games underneath with 800 following. Oh, gets a take the juggling's been kind of nice in these two uh, these two Winstons. I'd rather watch Zaya than Monkey Diva. Yeah, like I, I as I said, I don't have a problem with the, the Zaya. I think it's it changes the way the game is and the grabs are interesting, but. In 
this game besides I don't the think it's D.Va, better there, than D.Va, right? Go with a dive this map shows the downside of Zai. It's just, Zai is just nowhere near as versatile as D.Va. Like, I think there are definitely circumstances, obviously, when you get energy that Zai is just really strong, grabs obviously a great ult, better than D.Va bomb, but... Oh, that's a good EMP. I actually like that solo EMP on the Winston. x ray literally just stops moving. He's like, okay. Oh, yeah. Dude, Team Chase is getting bopped now. to push back team chaser so this is the Forget out dumb echo is echo when you have good team around you is kind of kind of nutty higher tempo style i like that they're playing they run it to combat echo copy there's no way that's the only reason specific because they don't i don't think the reason you don't play diva is so that they can't copy the diva i don't think that's true set up so that they can take out the dps i think that's a nice pro of it but i don't think that's the only reason just taking space away a Briggs end comp's really hard to execute. They just you just need to play well, like because the Briggs you, everyone needs to play without healing. You need to coordinate. Actually gets irony in this and looks to juggle into the corner. Team Chaser actually prevail in that exchange, even though it looked like 800 might. Did she get the Brig off? Yeah, she did. He did get the Brig off. Bad position if your team if your Billy Billy. Aye, that's not that's not bad for Team Ch uh, for Billy Billy. That's that's primal. That's nano. Blocking someone that's totally fine in your book in terms of the macro play and you still have a lot of time to work with as well three and a half minutes about by the time they get to this next fight team chaser realistically only gonna have a dead eye and a pulse bomb to work with so not a lot when it comes to their ulti play alfie just looking for another duplicate opportunity we'll be seeing a primal rage here in just a moment what you love to see Tesla Cannon up top already reaching that 50%. The High Noon is there looking just to wait. Primal Rage is <laughs> just staring him down. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they're caught. They're caught the disrespect. Down. And you're going to see the chase on to Keo. Sleep Dark Wizard. All right, they got, they, they're moving now. That Sorry, I had to right respond. There. That moment was just precious. I feel like Ask is going to be more nutty in Overwatch 2. Um, it'll be interesting. I don't think Echo's ult is anywhere near as good with less tanks. I think Echo is enabled by the fact that she can, like, as I said, D.Va is in every game. Like, Echo copying D.Va is, like, honestly so good. Any hot prospects in China Tier 2? Honestly, I don't know the Tier 2 scene in China well enough. These two teams is probably the best look that you're probably going to find. A lot of the players that were like, uh, I, I think a Prita is the one that I've heard the most. That people have said this is the guy, the DPS guy. Oh. oh what? They traded. Oh, that's not great. That's a really bad C9. They have Rally coming up soon. They have Nano. C9 in a contenders game? That's a Niner right there. Yeah. Three? Three so far? And now, like we're in on this map. So, Diva could have gotten there. <laughs> True. True. Lines to work with that I think Pineapple can take advantage of. I don't think the Sombra was bad necessarily. Is Alpha E plasters Kaneki against the yep. wall and sends him back to spawn. That's going to be a little bit of time taken off the clock for Team Chaser. I wonder if a printer and a switch nope, they're going to be sticking onto that McCree. So no switch. Two teams are opposed. I think they look better than all the Korean prospects except Proppa. Really? I don't agree with that. I don't think these players are better. I don't think. I don't know. As I said, that's hard to say, but I haven't seen anyone. I haven't seen anything that makes me think these guys are better than the Korean content. Like, the, a lot of the guys that are getting signed for Al right now. Maybe it's the fact that I just can't get over the fact that they're playing Zaya, and it just feels like the game is so different. Like, I'm not saying that these guys couldn't be our level, but saying that they're better than a lot of the prospects coming out of Korea, that seems like, that seems like a hot take. I'm a proper stand. There's a lot of proper stands out there. I'm excited to, to join the standing. Energy Kodomo gonna end up going down and falling by the wayside, and a single fight win is gonna be able to get Team Chaser this first ticket. Looks like and Billy Billy Gaming have to make their defensive stand on second here, but that's a doesn't Korea take the games very serious? Yeah, but like I assume they do in China as well, right? But Billy Billy Gaming, I mean, 15k points charge them. Here is your receipt. In 
this part of the map. You can still get pineapple in a lot of good places Whoop. here, as long as they don't get dove on really aggressively like that. But they have coach gun. But yeah, Korea is very competitive with esports, and they take it all very seriously. And that's one of the reasons Korean, uh, the Korean regions generally dominate any esports that they play, is because they don't fuck around as much as other regions. Just making sure that nobody's gonna take him down. We do have some light aggression coming up. Ooh, Keo barely survives. Timing on that was critical. Pineapple now gets overrun. Primal Rage gets to knock him around a lot. Actually, gonna get oh, nice. Oh, that's a good Primal. That's a really nice Primal. Shutting down X-Ray's follow through, but Kaneki once I I have been impressed with the main tanks. I will say that. I have liked both main tanks. Their ball and Winston play have both been pretty good. Fantastic primal rage coming out from X-Ray, who I've been critical of on the Winston and being uncoordinated with the rest of their You think Super with four Koreans is a bad move? They can work with comms enough. I I don't like it. I, I obviously like it has worked for teams in the past. It it, it can be a thing. Um the biggest concern that I have for it is that obviously it worked when they had a lot of Korean players because a lot of them had played in Western teams before, right? Or like mixed teams. They're having three players from O2 Blast. I don't know what their English is like. It might be hard for them to integrate with Super in on the main tank. But hey, they could easily make it work. It, it's, it's, it comes down to the team and how they work with it. That's a nice grab. Pulse bomb. Wow. Wow, nice. Bye. Let us know how the water feels, friends. I yeah I I think they'll pick up another tank I think they'll pick up a Korean tank maybe super they'll, they'll like try super they'll try and make it work and all that kind of stuff super could even be on that team as like he's not ex like when he signed the contract he's not expected to play that much and it's more for like marketing it could be that and he'll just continue to stream or maybe he, and then he can come in if there's like a rhyme meta or if it they can make it work but who knows as I said I I have no idea what's going on with that team or what their intentions are trying to dislodge them from the bridgeway goes underneath to reposition getting pineapple finally out in the open and looking to follow through onto the rest grab into the corner. that's a good grab i thought he got more than that but should be okay oh x-ray goes down this this, this is like one of those classic points second point dorado at the very end of dorado how many times has everyone been stuck here on this point trying to attack a team that has like 19 different high grounds it costs you so much to get into the fight, right? That costs X-Ray's Primal to get into the fight. But he's just like, he, he was disruptive, but he's, he then ends up dying, right? Think Brawl will be better on push game? I don't agree. I think Dive will be better. Because I think there's going to be a lot of flanks, and I think you're going to be able to navigate around everyone so easily. The game seems very open. I think Brawl... I also think Brawl just doesn't work anywhere near as effectively if you don't have two tanks. Push them off this high ground again, but without, without two tanks, I feel like your main tank is just going to take too much damage and he's just going to fall over if you try and put too many resources into it. Want to know who's good on this map section? Diva, yeah. And that's it, right? It's like Riven is going to struggle so hard to do anything on this Zaya. Yeah, it could easily bring a different type of brawl, like for sure. You're trying to get something with this high name, but does not manage to find any. So would Diva be the best solo tank? I think so. I think Diva is probably the most well suited, but obviously we don't know what all the tanks look like in uh, Overwatch 2 yet. Oh, that was that wasn't a good primal. Oh, he can go again, actually though. Oh. Get a better position to knock him off, but slip. Gonna have Keo landing well, that's that follow through as that's a good grab that was a good grab by Kodomo just sort of like okay the prime wouldn't work let me let me do my stuff I think Diva's core kit is just too good it's just too versatile right every other main tank has a has a niche right but Diva does everything she she has boosters so she can fly anywhere she can mitigate a ton of damage with her defense matrix she can take a lot of damage she can do a lot of damage her bomb is like quite effective. Like she just does everything well. Composition and here X-ray is on this because this way you can kind of bowl members off of the high ground a little bit easier than Winston, who can just kind of walk up there. As they approach with 40 seconds left, it's do or die. The high ground still being maintained. X-ray has to look for the mega pack underneath it. They're gonna try and regroup. Actually, oh, Lynx that goes down. Dead. 800 traded out but you still have lost the support keo also eliminated 26 seconds they have to bail out of this and try and regain some kind of composure 
But they think that they can get... I mean, they're getting kills. They think that they can continue, but with the Bob, it should realistically be over. Aye. Uh, so they have to leave. The Graviton Surge whiffs completely from Riven. I don't know where that one yeah, was Yeah, I don't know. It's just 10 seconds. Where was... The, where did that go? What was your favorite meta of Overwatch? Uh, Genji Dive. The first iteration of Anna Genji Dive. When the Genji had the speed boost. They have to leave the Graviton Surge. They think that they can continue with the... He just shot this shit into orbit. Who is he going for? Was he trying to grab the bob? I don't even know what he shot that for. They have to leave the Graviton Surge. Whiffs completely from Riven. I don't know where that one was going. And it's just 10 seconds left here, Riv. And with the tie ground continuing to be maintained by Pineapple, nobody can really put resources up to it because he has to get to that, to that payload to try and keep it in contention. He's got at least the Tracer then instantly recalled to buy some time. Now as X-Ray spins towards the payload, you're still going to have Pineapple. This is so hard for Team Chaser to win. They got a rally though. Oh, and they get the pulse on Hyunjae. Kaneki clutch. They, they have a problem that the Ana is just sitting for free on the high ground. Oh, nice sleep. Oh, that's a good Widow switch by a Pritta. That was such a smart switch by a Pritta. That, I, that Ana, Ash, we're gonna, we're gonna be such a problem. But the Widow just changes that. Oh my God, that was so smart. <laughs> what was that? What was that noise? <laughs> this is literally me when I'm freaking out in the middle of a game. Oh, it's getting me hyped for this, I will say. All the mines. Alpha Yi is killing everyone. Oh my goodness, both between the two of them. Alpha Yi just outskirts. I'm getting afraid for them with these mines. Alright, there it is. Oh, Woo! That was that was close. I like that switch by a printer. They almost pulled that back. What? Hello? <laughs> headshot after headshot. Yeah, he's not flatter. That, that's for sure. Alright, let's go. I think it was almost one of the best caches that we had last year if he wasn't as good as he is. Keep it going. Sticking it out. I'm an Alpha Yi stand. Alpha Yi's been good. I think so far in this match, the two people that impressed me the most is Alpha Yi and Kaneki. Um, I actually really like both main tanks as well. I think X-Ray and 800 have both, have both been very good. I think the Zayas are good. I just, it's, I, I don't know how to judge a Zaya in this meta and that kind of stuff, you know? So the Zayas seems solid though. Gonna have to try and kind of take it slow to try and deal with this ash on the high. Leash is back, yeah. Leash is back in on the diva. Gets picked up, shot in the back once, but almost gets a second. And again, pineapple still reigning supreme up top, and Team Chaser really playing more towards the point to see if they can force Billy Billy to them. You've got X-ray harassing up top. Mercy Bap. What is this? The Houston Outlaws? What is this? I don't. I don't really like the Bap. I think. Ah, uh, maybe they would. I think the only reason they want the BAP is so that he can stand on this high ground with everyone else, right? That that's the only reason that I think you'd ever want to play BAP. You don't want to play in the open because that's exactly what happens. Pineapple will take you down. That time it's 800, but so much. Because I feel like BAP really struggles to heal, but I guess it counters the die. Eh, no, I I I'd prefer an Ana here. I think just for the range. Oh, nice shot. Iris is irony this guy. Yeah, I guess I guess Atlanta did that a lot as well. Using an out team as an insult to contenders teams. <laughs> it's very weird, but whatever works. Well, like the BAP actually makes sense because they can sit on the, the BAP can sit on the high ground with the Ash, right? And it makes it almost impossible for them to dive. So I actually don't hate the Baptiste in this like very weird niche that they have. With an EMP at the ready, we'll see how exactly they choose to use these ultimates. And it looks like fine. But I just hate Baptiste oh, with a wrecking ball, a diva, because I feel like it's so hard to heal both of the tanks. And then at that point, it's like you really utilizing the, the value of the Baptiste. Be pineapple, and those are not, I mean, don't get me wrong, pineapple is definitely a good target, but when you've got two supports down... And yeah, Atlanta played a lot of bad, but yeah, but not with Diva, uh, Bull Diva. Like, they didn't play much Bull Diva at all. It's very much a hopeful pulse bomb there coming out from a Pretta. He thought that maybe he could turn the fight, but with two supports, like you mentioned, there's no way to really continuously fight that, and I love... <laughs> That's why it's so annoying playing Bap. Your ball is just rolling faster than your shots are. Someone who can carry from these long-range hits and rolls, and every time someone tries to go get... Him in the high ground, he just gets pocketed and kept alive. 
can actually just translocate stop quickly to make sure they don't get taken out there in the last few moments. There's a minefield overhead. Nice oh pile drive. To Do they even have game sounds anymore? I think they lost game sounds. Now for they did. Nobody's going to even move into the open sight line knowing that those are synergists together. Yeah, Kumeki has been holding on to this EMP for quite a while. There hasn't really been a chance for him to use it because Billy Billy Gaming... It's it's so or rather for Team Chaser it's so hard for them to get into Oh Kaneki, how do you die for that? That's a really bad death. That's like now they go they have to go into overtime. And they run into the issue that if if Billy Billy pushes their agenda, they can potentially get a kill before the EMP even gets value. But Team Chase is coming in with so many else, it should be hard for them to win. I think if anything, yeah, I like how I actually like this. Billy Billy's actually giving them a lot of space, kinda of hoping that they'll use their ultimates. Right, so they get the Valk off, they use Rally, they use Mines already. If they can get out, oh, they got Nano out now. Oh, and the Rally? Oh my god, and they, are they going to win this fight? And the grab? Dude, Team Chaser's literally not going to lose a fight where they use 5 ults, are they? I don't think, I think they're still in a good spot. They just have too much health and armor, right? Yeah. They cannot kill the Mercy Bap, though. Mercy Bap coming in clutch. Yeah, I mean, look at how many resources they have to commit to try and just take out Pineapple. They just have to send a Prita. They cannot kill Pineapple, dude. Pineapple still has oh my Pineapple. god, Pineapple lived for so long. Yo, big by Lanxa. Good brute. Oh! Oh yeah, reset, reset, Billy Billy. You're, you're in a good spot. They're, they're now on Tracer Genjiana Brig. Just reset and come in with your ults again. Title, by the way? Ah, it's fine. Oh, actually, I can change it real quick. From really setting up in these position, Team Chaser can take some space away, and I would like to see here Pineapple and Billy Billy Gaming go a little bit slowly here, try and get that high ground. A print is really flexible. Oh, really? Okay. Now put Pineapple back on the high ground like they're doing right now, and give him these sight lines that he's so good at dealing with. Yeah, and you can see that they already know exactly that they're going to shoot for Pineapple because Lee goes up. Oh, close to goodbye, him. Pineapple. X-Ray gets the takedown onto Pineapple. They don't have right, enough peel and assist, and the res has been expended. They will not have that for this engagement, and if they do, it's towards a very long tail-ended fight. And Eki still continues All right. to push shurikens as they're 10 seconds still to go here to try and contest onto this point. With oh, the that's not good. As well. How does Pineapple die while Hyunjae is in Valk? They got Rally as well, though. Like, Rally is just in these final breakdown fights is just so good. So, I think this might be hard for Billy Billy. Ooh. Shoot. Heal, heal, heal your bull. Heal your bull. Oh, you've got 800 so low down below. Has the defensive shield. You can just see irony just on a knife's edge. Oh, man. Not having a brig, I think, really. Despite Billy Billy in such a prime position and the yeah, Billy Billy kind of dropped the spaghetti on this one. I think their composition, once they lost too much space, was kind of hot. No way, right? Alpha E just comes back in time to keep it. This is just a scrappy engagement. Yeah, not so. Team Chaser should claim this. Yeah, Lengsa is just on this point, not letting anyone through. And I mean, to be fair to Billy Billy Gaming, they did play it extremely well. One of the why I would have liked to maybe seen a swap from Pineapple a little bit earlier. Can't go back in time. Now we're going over to Sanctuary where we're seeing Team Chaser. Aye, right, Soldier Briggs in. Okay, we're going to see some Briggs in from both teams. Once again, neither team is going to play the D.Va. They're going to focus on playing the Sig. But this, this essentially makes sense. This is such a good uh, Briggs in map. Ball gets a lot of value. Chase the Chengdu's Academy team? I believe so. Oh. Yeah, oh, Alpha treats it out for Kaneki, so that means that there's the lack of DPS here for Team Chaser. And with Keo going down to Pineapple, this is what I was talking about. If Pineapple is left to his own devices, he can. I do love the name Pineapple. And there's a lot of if Pineapple is left to his own devices, he's gonna take over this game. Yeah, go get him, Pineapple. X-ray diff? So at least I've gained something before it swapped. Yeah, it is just the, it was just the tanks left and they were relatively low health bars and 800 is definitely a weird name as well. In that scenario, but Team Chaser 
now has full control of this point here, and they have a lot of options to work with in this next fight. Realistically, if you're Billy Billy Gaming, the way that you win this next fight is you have to get a Pulse Bomb onto someone in that back line, take out a Prita, take out Langster, take out Cal Keo, because that is really going to help you circumvent the ultimate advantage that Team Chaser has in this next fight. And Alpha Yi playing stealthily. Oh, aye. Bacon Jack is my favorite name of all time. That's fair. Bacon Jack is a good name. them in percentage and they're clearly going to with the way they've gotten an early couple of picks and billy billy resigning the last name recently someone yeah pulse bomb and team chaser with them they actually got connecty to didn't hit the pulse bomb but got enough damage to this is on youtube's this will be on the youtube's this match is on the youtube's though about to pick up towards 50 percent they have a greater flux to work with billy billy gaming do as well the biggest is it a korean called another really oh my god we got to start talking to these Korean players and be like, hey guys, you can't, I don't even know what the wording is. You can't name yourself a generic thing or like generic naming word or actually, I don't, I don't even know what the English, like the way to explain this, but you guys know what I mean. I hate this ball so much. Dude, X-Ray is so fucking annoying. Like both main tanks have honestly been great at ball. A Prita with attack buys are going to start cleaning up if anybody treads into the open. Coming down. And now with only 20% remaining, Billy Billy finds himself. Probably because I can't play him, yeah. Might not be able to take this control map. Yeah, Billy Billy in a very scary position right now. Irony had to use the transcend so early. Hyunji is coming back. Although, yeah. I think it was although. Team Chaser, if you're a Billy Billy fan, got forced out of their own transcend. I'm surprised neither team played Bolt. I feel like you, sorry, Zaya. I'm surprised neither team played Zaya. I feel like you could definitely make Zaya work. Dude, Team Chaser is just bopping Billy Billy on this one. Along with the rally, Gunjay does have the armament to make sure that they can survive. Three of them gaining it consistently as they do look to take back the Discord orb onto X rays, making the focus fire extremely difficult to follow through on because they're rounding the center corner. And now you get Hyunjay on oh. top with an accretion. Leash kind of just popped. They sustain, hold on, and now take it back. Yeah, that was Liga and Klein. I think, yeah, in Saka, play started using English names. I respect for international viewers. Yeah, and I think that's, I think, uh, if I remember correctly, you know, we watch League, they're required to have English version names as well. So, I feel like it's just become a common trend in then esports. I can't believe Billy Billy won that. Put some members up in the sky and then put them back down with low health bars. But Team Chaser has some things to work with. They have a pulse bomb. Here comes Kaneki. Does he get the stick? Oh! Pineapple two. Hyunjae unfortunately far. Dude, X-Ray is just bullying irony. Fight is done and dusted. Billy Billy Gaming. X-Ray's dead. Completely baffled by this, and that is going to be three maps favoring Team Chaser. There is no way that Billy Billy comes back into this. Oh! I don't know about never. Yeah, I don't know about never oh, on that. Oh wow. Okay. As I say that, I might have spoken prematurely. Oh There's my. There is apple. no like way that. Team I'm Chaser part. fucked this up. That is such a throw. That was so poorly done. They're still in this. You completely cast or curse them, Rich. I, I mean, really that, did. honestly, Alpha Yi comes in over the top rope. One clips irony, or one clips Keo there. Huge pick from him. And then a Prita comes, or Pineapple comes back and is able to take out the other member in Langsa. And Billy Billy Gaming are in this last fight territory. And look at their ultimates. They have so many to work with in this next fight. The overtime commences. Tack Vines are going to lead in with Team. They really like the opening of the fight with the Tack Visor. Perfectly to cover a majority of this field. And now with the flux landing onto the minefield and gonna get the extra damage, you've got Billy. Holy Billy shit! It's just the clubs by attack. Oh, I'd actually. And this will be an opportunity for Team Chaser if they claim it to be on match point. Here's best of seven as Aprita takes once again this high ground, but you're actually gonna see it match Pineapple and Aprita both opting to go for the 76 out. Also, what are the two Valiant DPS the same name? Oh, back in the day, KSF and KSP. Kai actually changed his name to Kai, which is his first name. Blows up X-ray, and that should be the ability to move forward. Pineapple takes out. Okay, Pineapple's just in one right now. Yep, just toss. Remember when we had KSF, KSP, and KSA? Yeah. Old man. Uh uh. And then there's no, now there's none of them. Yeah, I mean, this all the KSs are dead. Soldier seventy six at their best right now, and this is not. PP so clean. I don't know how I feel about calling Pineapple PP. 
is feeling himself right now with his aim and build. I don't know how I feel about that build control of this positioning right now it's going to be difficult for team chaser to move forward they're going to have to kind of use a lot of their utility to move forward and try Kyle could come back yeah I feel like he's going to go to Valorant he didn't say he was going to go to Valorant but it felt like he was going to go to Valorant you know movement and counter movement from Billy Billy and how they're rotating to not allow team chaser to find the advantage Riven consistently playing this corner but now they're looking to aggress forward Okay. Get the nice one onto Riven with the Discord specifically. And Pineapple, if not checked now on the opposing side, once again is going to continue to get these shots. Ooh, oh, almost he is, doesn't he make is it. Taking, he is taking damage. He is taking a couple of bits of damage. He's got Visor, yeah. They choose to use, lose it. Oh, and there it goes. Yep, going to activate it, but the Transcendence is there. Afrita now opting to force their attack Visor as well. No one. Well, so where, why did Irony not trans there? I don't know where there was, so. Afrita gets a lot more value off of his attack Visor than Everyone was wondering what BKM was. Commit his transcendence to that fight where Keo did. So Keo really helped. Van Kevin is assigned to players whose names are different types of breads. Lean into the memes. Is there a single bread named player that we can think of that's really good? Trying to get multiple members in the back doesn't seem to land with it since the transcendence has to come out by irony now. They need to recover from this pressing forward. We do have a stun onto X Ray who is still alive though and recovered well. I don't think so. I'm racking my brain. Evil Toaster might count, yeah. Yeah, definitely will be in for in favor of Team Chaser for long. Loaf. There's a leaf. We can ask Leaf to change his name to Loaf. Easily here for Billy Billy Gaming, who looking pretty decent in terms of their ultimate economy in this next fight. They're gonna have a Gravitic Flux of their own. Keo does not have a trend. Isn't Evil Toaster Diamond now or something? Does Evil Toaster still play Overwatch? I haven't seen the dude around in a while. Get that rally armor before the flux comes online. So that way you can move forward and have that rally armor. Flowerworks? Uh, kinda, yeah. Finds a wrecking ball on the outskirts That's and then runs flux. immediately back into the flux. Pile oh drive to boot. Wow, that was just a lot. Completely tilted from that one and having to try and stabilize. What a fantastic engagement from Billy Billy Gaming. The flux into the minefield, into the pulse bomb as well. And that's just time leaking off the clock. If your team chaser here, Billy Billy Gaming, in that last. Well, I was saying he was diamond. Don't have a lot. I doubt he. Uh, that's interesting. Have attack visor from pineapple, but team chaser. It's really. Get someone to name themselves Weedy. To try and push forward and take the space. Terry Cookie's close. Flank. Can they get anything? His his main is still GM on tank. Okay, that makes sense. Visor comes out by Pineapple, Alpha E and Pineapple just cleaning up. They'll be able to isolate all, and Team Chaser are gonna be able to fall shy here. Oh. You good, boy? Yep, Billy Billy manages to get you it. You coughing up a hammer over there? Make it a two -two score. Oh, God. And we still have a lot more Overwatch ahead of you, friends. I mean, <laughs> yeah, this is do. gonna be a late one. Yeah, I mean, Billy Billy Gaming, bring it and away from like. Alright. Pretty. <laughs> I cannot believe. Pineapple coming out a lovely team chaser dropped that spaghetti by the way so that match takes so team chaser went on to lose that map right they they were the team that fucked up the round right oh there's the silence to move forward pineapple the soldier 76 to kind of yeah offer that same mobility and repositioning that you're going to be looking off the clock here all right this high ground a little bit spaghetti was dropped doesn't look like it they're going to be playing the ball on the defensive end here Cast curse though. What? Well, hey, uh, they, they also could have just not dropped the spaghetti. I don't get that matchup between Aprita and between. Oh! Incredible attack as Alpha E goes into the back line, almost takes down Keo. Extreme. I'm hungry now. Honestly, same. As the defense now will begin in earnest here, and a nice bull coming in from X-ray to get them off the high ground. Yeah, instantly gonna try and take advantage of it. We've seen some clean play before of this, where they were able to dislodge from the high ground, but you've got Alpha E now. Wobble, wobble, motherfucker. Dylan, two Y. Thank you very much for the fresh up. Welcome to the fam. Oh, no new Spock, she's gonna promote this backline. Uh, is Irony Hyunjae good enough? Neither one of them have really stood out for me. Just continuously spam down on the rest of your team. That would be worst case scenario. Well, now it's been lost. You've got a Prita up top as you do have. Okay, X-ray goes down. Reset. So team chases back on the Zaya. It's a criminal amount of spaghetti. That doesn't mean too much spaghetti at this point. 
There's been some whiff grabs and stuff like that, but nothing too crazy. Except for that, yeah, that fu that messed up overtime. Oh. But it looks like Billy Billy Gaming have kind of given up this high ground a little bit, and Team Chaser are just gonna start moving through that left side, trying to just brute force their way on. Chaser could better backline, kind of better, yeah. Chip damage on a pineapple in the back. You can see the focus there. Nice shield come through to give that extra buffer. X-ray. X-ray's getting bullied. He needs someone else to go. Like I feel like X-ray's just going in alone. Feels like me when I play ball. And I think you see, you're seeing really uh, some really good adjustments coming in from Billy Billy Gaming. What did Team Chaser do so well against Timer Zoom on this map? It was a lot of the play from X-Ray, and Billy Billy Gaming have killed X-Ray like three times this map. Ooh. You can see how hard of a time he's having with just his alt charge because he's getting focused down so much. I love Zembri comms. I, I think they're so, such fun to like play and like look at. I think they're a little hard to watch at some points, but yeah. For Team Chaser to move forward at this point. I like that, Bob. He's going to be entering into the mix in the back. Does get a... Actually finds value onto 800, so they no longer have to be worried about the ability to dislodge and remove from the high ground. With the gets alpha you. That was a good disengage by Team Chaser, recognizing that they're not going to get value by going that way. Oh, how does X-ray die? Oh, he's dead. Yeah. is going to be able to try and find a pickup on Takio. Hyunjae actually has to commit the rally as well to try and support. If they can force links a rally out, they're in a good spot. Or a grab. That should be an opportunity for this tank to transition into the payload phase. I yeah, definitely don't want to see the Graviton Surge come out. Uh, <laughs> That's going to force the grab. That's really nice. They actually have to commit the grab. This is just going to be a fight win. But they use the rally. Is actually able to get they um, use the grab rally there. That's not very good by Team Chase. That was really pa bad old usage. Switch to a D.Va instead. Looks like. Oh, Sigma. Okay, yeah, Sigma is definitely a decent All right. to kind of mirror the one coming out from Liga. Give you some of that CC with accretion to deal. I don't think they were ever really at too much threat of losing that. If he's going into those back lines. We see a three minute and a half pine bank now for Team Chaser to move forward with. Again, blundering a little bit in terms of their macro with those ultimates, but it's not the end of the world because you were making it. And now as they try to pressure out into the open, Team Chaser going to be swarmed quickly by Alpha E over top, looking to just get some shots in behind the shield, attempting to reposition and evaluate where that payload is. Now, honestly, at this point, Riven's just going to be consistently harassed, and Pineapple free to just get some decent shots as long as they reside behind that building. Oh, oh, yeah, we're there you go. Bit of the same I know what Riven's doing out there. That dude, uh, Riven's in Narnia. We're just at where it's like Pineapple is just going to be able to free fall. Leash two way. I believe he's a two way. That can reliably get to him in the scenario. It's got to be. I believe he's a two way. Flanking or a Prita trying to beam him down on a flank, something like that, because at range, no one can really get to Pineapple in the. <laughs> Unless something changed. Okay. Team Chaser is struggling going anywhere right now. They're, yeah, like, it's going to be so hard for them to go anywhere with Pineapple just just dinking people from across the way. I think they need to go high ground, yeah. Like, I don't think they can go low ground. They have to go high ground and at least force them off a bit. Oh. Who is there engaged? Like, uh, X-Ray is the one who's supposed to be going in and trying to get these members off the high ground, but he's continuously being checked by the Tracer. What's a two-way? A two-way contract means that you can play for their contenders team. So if you if your Overwatch League team also has a uh, contenders team, you can play on the contenders team and the Overwatch League team. You can't just switch all the time and, like, play both, but it essentially means that you can play for Overwatch League whenever you want, but if you're not playing, you can play for the contenders team. Those couple of picks coming through, you're gonna see a reposition now. So Team Chaser is the Chengdu Hunters cont um, contenders team, and Billy Billy Gaming is uh, the Hongzhou Spark contenders team. After a great one clip from Alpha Yi, and the respawns are much closer for Billy Billy. Aggressive ball engaging, 800 back online. Irony manages to get a Freda stick. Oh, does get one shield is there at least from Lanks. Oh wow, nice. So it doesn't get the double, but you're still gonna fall shy here with Lanks getting instantly taken down from Irony finding a nice shot. Yeah, I mean, Alfie really, really helped that fight uh, be won by Billy Billy Gaming with that one clip onto Keo. Because if there was a trance there, that fight could look completely different. But now Billy Billy Gaming. Oh, Spark put up this much of a 5 vs Chengdu. Dude, Spark was hella disappointing last year. I feel like they never really had a good moment. They're going to get one last shot. Luckily, they have ultimates to work with, and a lot of them at that point. But they have to make these ones hit pay dirt. Pylon Terrace is the last point of engagement. Team Chaser has no idea how to engage here. Oh, wow, that was close. Oh, I don't like that visor. Remove those mines from 
preventing any sort of aggression forward. Pineapple still getting a couple of shots here between those two pillars. Yeah, Lisa. Managing to force back a few. But Liga down, though, because Kaneki got the pulse bomb. That's at least going into the right direction. Aprita finds another on to Oh, wow, good kill. Falling in suit. This should be a chance for Billy Billy to be overrun and outmatched by Team Chaser to reach this checkpoint. Still Alright, they should be able to cap this. How close, actually, how close is Pineapple to Bob? Pineapple almost has Bob. If Pineapple gets this Bob, I think they win the fight. Liga goes down. This is so close here, Rich. Oh, there it is! The Bob's a problem! Alright, they, they, they did a good job of holding off of that. Because they're just trying to keep it in contention. Kyo is dead. That means there's a lot of damage that's not here with the Discord arms. Langston oh. needs to get to this rally quick enough. All right, they got rally now. Biza. All right, that should be good. Got the DMAC onto Liga as it does get the follow through onto Baby Diva. With now All right, there they go. Oh, 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 oh Alpha Yi. Comes by Alpha Yi. The but transcendence is enormous. That was such a big transcendence. Wow. And you that went back and forth like four times. Holy shit. That was a crazy fight. Decent chat. Of a isn't very relevant. It's a good pick coming in to try and counter it. Yeah, and, and the, the thing though that is a little bit scary oh, shit. is that Team Chaser does not wobble, have any wobble, wobble, motherfucker. Rabbit Gunner, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome, Essentially, welcome to the fam. Lines, they are a little bit harder to get on the offense, but because he's not really contested at a distance. Yeah, it, it's, it, I think it's supposed to be Liga, but I've never, I've never said, I've always just said Liege because that's how it reads to me. But I should probably call him Liga. Do you have a uh, considered transition to coaching? I've been asked this a bunch. Wild probably right not. Is, the only time I'd want to be a coach is if I was going to be an Overwatch League head coach, but I don't want to be an Overwatch League head coach because I don't even know if I like coaching, you know? But I'm not going to do it as an assistant coach because you just don't get paid that much and that kind of stuff, so. Do you want to command for coaching? Maybe. I don't know. I feel like I should do a really good one, though, if I'm going to answer. How's game ready? I'm 27. Like I, if I was gonna join an Overwatch League team as a coach, I'd probably have to move to wherever the team was, and I don't want to relocate. I like where I live. I think I've got a good thing going. So, go coach the Wobblers for a sub tournament. What do you mean the Wobblers? The Wobblers aren't a part of the sub tournament. I'm divvying you guys up. You guys, you guys are gonna be all over the place. I think any of these guys are armor too. I think there's a couple of players that could easily do it. I don't know if they're better than like, you know, like Chengdu. Like, I don't know if any of these DPS players are good enough to be like, deal with, like fight leave or anything like that. Or like Jinmu on the flex DPS, but. Billy Billy rolling now. I mean, this has just been complete domination right now from Billy Billy Gaming at this point in the map and Team Chaser. Luckily, you're going to have a semblance of a respawn advantage once this next fight happens. A lot of ultimates to work with, too, in this next fight. But, Billy Billy Gaming... Uh, I don't know Silk J-Bot. I... Uh, someone else gave me the link. Impactful. And also, it's not really that much of an ultimate advantage. Minefield partially on the... Uh, all right, mines and mines. Get all of them to drop to the lower segment. As now they're in the home stretch, it's only a few meters left to go. Billy they don't a massive time bank to have win. much to deal with this flux. And look at just how 800 is rotating. So well wow, this was not a close map. Wow. Holy cow. All right. Billy, Billy. Dude, Team Chaser is kicking themselves that it's even close right now. I saw Symmetra and I was well, like, duh. Yeah, I guess that's true. All right, Route 66. Someone asked me if I'd watched Route 66 yet. So I don't know if that means this, this is going to be a good map or a bad map. Uh, Ash, once they kind of just get out of this area, he's just poking down. I mean... Yeah, I, I, no, no, no. He, he'll, he, he's definitely going to swap. There's no reason to, like, continue playing this Ash, especially against a Hammond like this, because you will get obliterated. But as I say that... Prita, really a Prita needs to, to get off of this Widow. Yeah, on this defensive position, they're playing... So <laughs> yeah, he's got really swap, yeah. Okay, Alpha Yi. Yeah. When Go you down. get clipped like that... How you liking a Prita? I think a Prita, <laughs> Alpha Yi, uh, <laughs> Kadeki have all been really good. Even Pineapple's been good. Like, the DPS have all been solid. Okay, I thought that was I said, I think they're probably Overwatch League like, level. I don't know how good in Overwatch League they'd be, right? Like, I, I don't think I've seen any of these players and be like, they need to pick up this guy and this will take him to the next level. Maybe a Prita to Spark. 
Team Chaser are having a rough time getting out of this offense. I mean, that's offense. an understatement. I mean, they're making sure that uh, Team Chaser... But a Prit is really a hitscan player. So it's like, is a Prit a hitscan player or a flex DPS player? I don't really know his... I would be absolutely surprised if they even get this payload at all with how well already a minute. Pull him another leave, really? Okay. Hit scan, flex. I can mix things from you guys. Complete annihilation of a defense so far for Team Chaser. And I mean, at some point, they will get an EMP and will be able to, like, move forward. A Prita has switched on to, like, three different. Prita's a tracer guy? Yeah. So that's the thing is, like, he's never going to go to Chengdu if he's a tracer player. Like, leave is just going to. He's going to over. He's going to have the same as, uh, leave. Please, please. Play both? Well, yeah, well, he needs to pick one, right? Like, you can't really play both. He needs to be really good at one. Like, obviously, it's nice that he can play everything, and that's a valuable thing to have, but you need to, like, at some point, when teams are signing a player, they need, they're going to need him for something, right? Here comes some flux. This fight's over. Rich, this is not looking good for Team Chaser's chances at all. No, this isn't, and you're just going to continue to see them clean up. He's best at flex ammo. Oh, yeah. Half the bank is gone. May Echo Hanzo and Nasi. Okay. Hasn't moved much. All right, this this has just been such a ridiculous stall coming in from T or from Billy Billy Gaming here. Koneki does he's gonna get. Wasn't Keon Lengsa season two Chengdu backline? I think Lengsa was there for season three, right? That's good. Not season two. One step in the right direction. They still have a. Oh, there we go. That pile drive coming in on pineapple. Very very valuable. Gonna translocate out. Irony kills a Prita. Kaneki kind of AFK. He just he, we are almost three minutes in. Has he used an EMP? I don't think he's used an EMP yet, right? He's just struggling to get anything. Oh, if they kept out for you. Does end up doing so, and maybe Billy Billy Gaming have pushed a little bit too far. Because now Team Chaser have control of this card. They aren't worried about Alfie moving. Liga would probably be good for Chengdu. Yeah, I think a lot of us want to go to see him go to Chengdu. But um, he's contracted to the Hongzhou Spark still, as far as I'm aware. EMP, Pulse Bomb, Nano, Rally. So many good ultimates to work with here as they move forward. Alfie back in the mix up top. Looking to see if they can find what did they trans? the minefield is played. Yeah, they... <sighs> Whiff. I mean, again, it must have been at least valuable enough that it was... Decision being made, but the mind All right, Kaneki, you've, you've been charging this for this moment. Oh, hit the Mercy Ash, but it really needed to get the Zen as well. Maybe good enough. Whoa. Looks like they might be able to do so with the respawn advantages that they have. No. Good peel. Alpha, that a was a good peel by Alpha Yi. Point, 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 point. We've seen it happen time and time again down below. Whose rally is that? Lynx's? Low health for the follow through. Pulse bomb does get the demic onto Ribbon. Attempting over top from Liga with those picks, getting the baby diva down. And now a Prita hit by the Nana. Billy Billy doesn't really have anything. Yeah, they just, they just ran out of steam. The rally Nano just too strong. Just 0 0.07 meters to go, and they will miraculously be able to pull through, even though there was a worthy attempt to contest by Billy Billy. I cannot believe Team Chaser capped that. I thought this was, I thought the series was over. I thought Billy Billy Gaming were going to full hold after that defense went, and Team Chaser. Gonna be surprised if Alpha E doesn't go to a team. They say, yeah. It's a pretty. But remember, like we talked about it earlier, remember there is very little opportunity, unfortunately, available to Chinese players. Like you either go to Chengdu or you go to Hongzhou. That Maybe Guangzhou, big. but like, and those teams are already filled with rosters, uh, with players, right? And I don't know how much those teams have said they're looking to pick up new players. He's Korean. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, then he has fucking all the options in the world. He can go wherever he wants. You want to go to Vancouver? You can probably go to Vancouver. So no chance of Shanghai. I don't want to see a play. I don't want to see Alpha Yi go to Shanghai. He will never play on Shanghai. I'd rather see him go to like I'd rather see him go to like a um go to like a Guangzhou or something like that, right? The bob is coming out though, but irony. Oh, big stick from a Prita onto his counterpart or from Alpha E onto his counterpart. Irony, Hyunjae, and Alpha E. Okay. Interesting. So the backline is Korean. Standing on that point, he will eventually ghost out of there and. Team Chaser are moving Might be MYXL, yeah. You, we, MYXL doesn't have a backline at all, right? You can see Hyunjae and Irony go there. It's falling apart. It's, it's, there's just MYXL, yeah, that can make sense. Right now, 
for Billy Billy Gaming on this. What choice is better, Vancouver or Valiant? Depends what those teams are doing for this upcoming season, right? Hey, boy, you're getting in the way of my bot. Oh, that's a good transcendence, though. That's the only ultimate that you've really gotten remaining for Billy Billy as both supports committed from Team Chaser. The rally. Damn, that was a pretty tragic second point hole by Billy Billy. Now that they're rolling, and the Zai is only going to be better on this third point. Oh, my God, Team Chaser. Oh, that's true. There is rumors that MYXL is getting Myungbong and Gangnam Jin, right? It's one of those moments where it's like. I remember seeing Myungbong. I haven't seen Gangnam Jin. They've gotten second off They still don't have a main support, yeah. just. One fight. 100 energy Nato Zaya is terrifying. I don't know what the damage per second is on that left click, but it's crazy. He's just got another grab. Moving forward and being Are they get dude? Look at how much space Billy Billy's gonna give. They're gonna give him the whole front half of this point. I don't hate it because they want to play back with their comp, but it's a lot of space to give. So why is it the Chinese players can only go to a Chinese team? Because um for fully Korean teams, they don't want to pick up... If they pick up a Chinese player, they then need to start communicating in a common language, which is usually English. So a lot of Korean teams don't want to bring in Chinese players, or even Western players for that matter, because then all of a sudden they need to start mixing, the, working their languages together. So it just puts in this big strain in terms of communication. Uh, Guangzhou and Hongzhou have already sort of like implemented those kind of things. So people that join those teams, they communicate in a common language. I don't know exactly which one it is. Um... And then, yeah, you have visa issues. You have all those kind of things, so. A landmark to go to. The EMP is going to come out. Lands on double. Riven. Oh they didn't even have to use the grab there. It's Bach. They come in English. Yeah, they, they usually come in English. Because it's like a good common ground for both those. Team Chaser. Team Chaser. See the ending goal line in their sights. Alfie ta is taken down by X-Ray of all people. And Billy Billy Gaming Pineapple has gone over to the to the cowboy just to try and offer a little bit of <gasps> to deal with these flankers He's oh no good team chaser might have to retreat here that's okay, such a bad death by a Prita. Right now on this map where you've got pineapple coming in big swapping to the necessary english is the language of the trade it's just a, a very global language right Prita, but they're gonna be able to fall back 30 seconds to go they're gonna have one last attempt at this with really only a couple of ultimates to work with but they do have a graviton surge that is a big one and there's no uh Transcendence on the other side to deal with it, so Riven can make something happen here. There's a nice hack onto the Zinyana. Oh, the grab's good though. Over top, attempting to collapse down. Liga's eliminated along with Alpha. Riven's kind of doing a bit of carrying. He's got his carry pants on. He's nanoed again. <laughs> what would win? One rallying brig or a nanoed Zaya? Honestly, the nano brig just doesn't die. Oh, that's a problem. Is anybody gonna be able to touch? They pick him off in the overtime does, but they still go through zero time in the bank. I cannot believe they finished that map. They look like they were going to get spawn camped the whole way through. Riven at the start, but goes back over to the Ash, and I'm I'm slightly worried about this Ash pick here, Rich. I'm worried about this Ash pick as well against the Sombra. Kaneki should be able to charge his ultimate. Okay. Like babysat here because you're going up against a Hammond, a Sombra, and a Tracer. You are going to get blown up if you get picked, and actually. Good kill by Kaneki already. Pick a buddy, friends, cause like once they start cycling ultimates, this is gonna be hard for Billy Billy. Already team chaser taking quick advantage of this once again. They've got that mega pack hacked underneath, so they've got more sustainability for them with the Sombra. And you're actually gonna have Pineapple opt to go for the Sombra play as well here. The thing is, right, you know, they actually knew that like there was Pineapple on that Ash, so they're just like, okay, Ash isn't really gonna do much, so we're going to. So get Pineapple switches over to the Sombra. And actually, Pineapple is hacked out himself, has to. Kaneki is not really charging the CMP very quick though. I wonder if it's just hard to charge EMP and the reason these te play teams haven't played as much Sombra is because there's no D.Va, it's harder to charge. Oh nice. Ahun's just gotta be real careful though, because he's getting overwhelmed from multiple angles here. Irony takes down X. Oh, Irony? He's like, I'm just coming in hot right now. Tranquility for all. Irony is able to take down a couple, but actually, Team Chaser. Oh, Nano Tracer? They really don't like Irony. But he gets hacked 
but he still takes down irony in the meantime i think that's a worthy trade for billy billy or for team chaser to try and continuously stall this respawns are going to be able oh to good EMP. here's the emp emp onto three pile drive comes through the coordination once again. not a lot of follow-up that oh gets the value but gun jay doesn't go down oh wow close big stick pulse <gasps> looking to stick no they still survive blg loses the opportunity that's not a good emp you need to be better than that pineapple because now they're just gonna rally right they just rally and they're chilling in this fight oh he gets keo through the rally oh just running down you're a rallying brig yeah what oh wow irony's just feeling himself Irony does not want to lose right now, it feels like. This Zenyatta play has just been in the kill feed the entire time. Team Chaser will not be able to contest this point. And Billy Billy Gaming, four minutes in their time bank to work with to move forward. Riven versus Irony, who carries harder, yeah. No swap-ups really from either composition. The biggest difference is that League is going to be going on to the D.Va, which is, I think, something that you're bringing to offer some peel to your backline and also have the ability to contest some of that high ground. Pile drive here with the mines on the stairways, but hesitating because it's a little bit of a divide and conquer position right now. We've got Team Chaser. Oh, nice! Oh, that was sick by Alpha. You. Doesn't manage to evade. Irony gets another. Irony coming out big. You are right. They are just like I am not through with any of you. Yeah, Irony is basically the third DPS right now on Billy Billy Gaming, and they're. Riven is a really cool name, I am. Yeah, kind of sullen, kind of trademarked, but hey, we'll allow it. Into this, have a Graviton surge and have a Nano. I would expect the Nano to go directly onto a Prita, and Billy Billy Gaming has to be extremely careful in this scenario. It has to be on the back of Hyunjae and Liga to peel away that trace. Do you have thoughts on Sigma Venom and what he's doing on Atlanta? My guess is he's going to be the Tracer player. He's just going to be the pure Tracer player. Like, if they need to play, like, Tracer Sombra, like, and that kind of stuff. I think you'll mainly see, like, if you need a hit scan, they'll play Kai. If they need a Tracer, they'll play uh, Venom. It's a pretty good grab. Look at how far their backline is away. Oh wow! How do they get an apparator with that? 800 cleaning that minefield is a bit weird to me because you didn't have pineapple. Venom is pretty much a pure tracer player. Yeah, that's what he's known for, right? And I, that's what I expect him to play, right? That's that's a nano ribbon. To Langsa. Pineapple doesn't yield nearly as much irony again. Oh, they're committing. Chaser is going to now have to try and survive through the commitments, and they might be able to do irony on Langsa as well. Dude, irony's just fucking bowling. Damn, not enough. Now you actually see Team Chaser hold that's defensively because of that commitment. Questionable transcendence. Hope that they could just rush onto the members of Team Chaser, but with the Anna Nade and with the Brigitte rally, there's just too much healing to chew through and too much sustain. Team Chaser able to hold a minute and thirty. Hmm. Alright, they should be alright. But they, the problem is they're gonna want to rally to enter this fight, but then they can just get uh, they can just get grabbed by Riven. Get one, maybe two fights, depending on how quickly they go. I mean, the two fights is going to be a real challenge. It has to be. 800's so already dead. Got Billy Billy losing 800 already. They don't, I don't think they really want to even take this. They need to just fall back and wait for this regroup of six. It's their only chance since they do have presently the ultimate economy. And Rich, look at those ultimate charges for Pine. You cannot stagger here. here. Actually, this is being committed from. Oh my goodness. That. You're going to have Kaneki take down Pine. Riven is just. Oh, this is top. Farming. Five seconds still to go, though. You might be able to have Billy Billy recoup, but they've overcommitted and they put a lot into this. Yeah, they, they rallied there. They diva bombed there. And they didn't. The team Chaser didn't use anything. They have rally. They have EMP. Oh, Billy Billy. That wasn't great. going to have theirs comboed along with the rally and with the grab. This is Team Chasers to lose. We could be going to an eighth map here, Rich. And now as the seconds dwindle, Pineapple down below, sticking near the field. Yeah, oh, that's it. It's one onto Irony. You have Kaneki going down, but it's only Hyunjae to try and keep this alive. You have potentially the back cap. We've seen it before by Pineapple, but I don't think it's going to work this time against Team Chaser as they are just looking to clean this up. Four seconds now to go. Nobody's going to be able to be here. As Good a positioning. Billy Billy Gaming, and you've got Team Chaser now oh, picking up the X-ray? And we will be seeing a map eight.
Uh, well, There's let's no calm down. You last time you said this, they lost. LPE. That team chaser is gonna lose this one. It looks like it's all done and dusted right here, but the fight is still going. 800 going down is big. And you're gonna see I only got another transcendence, dude. Hyper focusing that Brigitte play, but again, Alpha E has the pulse bomb. Looks down a ribbon. The shield swivel is on the wall and prevents it from taking anything. There it is. There it is. We Not bad. What the Riven definitely was the MVP of that map. All right, here we go. Final map. Map eight of this fucking series. This is a long ass series. Oh. Again, a bit of Cass. Team Chase is better with the Winston's Ire, I think. Last game ever to really just claim a championships, which has still never been obtained on this high ground. You do have irony looking to try and fuel down below with a lot of healing. Almost get the quick pick up onto Kaneki. And as we do see these two teams going head to head for this final moment. Who Leash. Gets hit by the bio nade, oh, that's a nade. Beautiful oh. bio nade from that's Kio. a good nade by Kia. what we've seen time and time again, and it leads into this first round. I'm surprised we haven't seen more casts in this, like, match, honestly. This I feel like McCree is pretty good. At, if you're going to play Azaya, I feel like Kree is pretty good. And the Anna, I mean, it has just been... A phenomenal performance oh and another sleep. Goodness. Pineapple goes down and the Kia, calm down. starts to tick up for Team Chaser. They have all the sight lines now. It's going to be difficult for Billy Billy Gaming. You got to ride twice, hey. I've been doing this shit for five years. I'm not going to get it all right 100% of the time. 25% already in their favor. Taking the early Might be dumb question. A contender is allowed to play with customized reticle. Yeah, let me reinforce it. Uh, everything that you see in terms of customized uh, their reticles and all that kind of stuff, like these, this isn't the player's reticles. It's also the colors that you see is not what the players see. The players see it as you normally would play your ranked game. You have all the customization of your own team colors, of your reticle and all that kind of stuff. This is what the spectators have their settings as. Get anything. This is still Team Chaser taking the advantage and running circles around Billy Billy. And Irony committed Nano Boost to Liga. They're not really a position you would want to be in. You'd want the. I feel like X-Ray had that in the bag, and he just like. Oh my God, X-Ray! Directly onto Alpha Yi, so he's not gonna have that pocket. And Alpha Dude, Apreda is just murdering on Kree right now. Alpha Yi has on Cass. No Fuck. Value, completely muted this map, and this is what Team Chaser needed to do to win a series like this. Take Alpha Yi out of the equation. How do you know that he went left? I don't know why he went left. He should have just gone right. There's no way this eye gets away if he goes right. Highlight and a lot of other players don't get us wrong but when you cripple alpha Yi like this it can make it so challenging for billy billy to get back into this yeah avi doesn't even have a copy yet the final moments you last fight grab, along with the rally here for this last fight opportunity yeah yeeted at the zaya just killed the zaya right grab, Adam, oh the nades that this armament to make oh mirrored grab oh Billy, Billy Gaming getting a almost got away with it out of position but they're still managing to prevail oh he got that grab off one a Frida in the back nobody can follow up onto it you've got the dive in the back from 800 but he's gonna oh, get too much Aprita, damage well, Aprita comes in big and you're gonna have team chaser managing to claim this first round as they will just completely remove everyone it's only alpha Yi with a hope a prayer and a dream to keep this in contention that will be an entire team kill and round one Ooh, I needs here we go next round some sort of help he needs irony oh okay so billy bill is gonna play ball ball is better on this one it's interesting that both teams both players are playing kareen now cast now this scares me a little bit it really does i mean it's i feel like challenging a pretty here is pineapple's really gonna step up here to the tracer to try and yield more value that just puts oh they're also low oh my god who's winning i don't know wow that's kind of crazy they turn that live history as it did in season one and they're gonna go back and take this point i mean team chaser again they don't let billy billy gaming set up they dive directly onto the back line get them in that dark room in a hookah and they just cleave through all of them the bio all right uh, this is a problem now if you're if you're billy billy how do you get back into this picking up their percentage rich few more fights is all that stands between them in their championship that they can get again we'll see what 800 does on his engagement here because he's the one who needs to open things up favor going into this this would be a massive upset one of probably the grandest i think we could express in this moment as it's 25 percent and climbing for team chaser they have the pulse okay 
holstered until they could find an opportunity of getting it oh he's just through. dead he's not doesn't even have health Billy, Billy, he's just taking enemy. too much damage and he can't go in with the Kree felt like a pretty just weren't trying and what oh are they gonna get oh, okay i was gonna say i was seeing skulls and i was scared it felt like they just weren't playing free. They're just giving him a chance. And now they've just put a Prita. It's like a cheat code. No, no. Raven is so high charge. He's melting through and putting him in the microwave. 50% and ticking up here for Team Chaser. It's Oof. looking like it's all falling apart for Billy Billy Gaming here, Rich. Billy Billy, boom. I don't think they have an answer to a Prita. They have a nano. You can put it onto whoever you like. It I just don't think 800, like they're relying on 800 to give them space and he just can't. I think there's just too much damage coming out. Huge right here. Why ball? I don't know why. Like they have played so much bullseye here, Punk. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Billy, th he seems to be playing like bullseye this entire match, and I don't think it's good. But it's like they. It's like they agreed to not play Diva. Adversary, team chaser. Oh, 800's dead again. Like, to 800. That might just be it. You see that numbers advantage 12%. They've got to wait for 800 to get back into this. The grab. And they're going to go. They're going to go for it. Grab's going to pull two in. They're going to manage to try and get rid of oh. it. Like, with the rally. You're gonna have irony. Don't overcommit. Force them to come to point. There you go. Nice. Into the overtime. It might just be the dream Kaneki. Fading into darkness. Kaneki comes in with the pulse bomb. Attempting to try nice. and Juggle. completely shut it out now. There's no more hopes. Billy Billy Gaming. Jump for the mines. Reduced to nothing. Everything that they've staked this whole perfect. Yeah. Team Chaser strips it away in the end. Ooh, that was pretty good. That was a that was a good match. That's an eight match eight map banger of a series. There was some spaghetti dropped. There was some questionable ultimate usage, but I think individually there was some good plays. I don't really understand how much Zaya was played. Like we would say 95% of the time Zaya was played, 90% of the time. A little bit of Sigma, a little bit of Diva. Um, but there was also a lot of ball played. And if there, it was a lot of ball brig Anna as well. It wasn't even like, if you want to play ball brig Zen, I think it makes sense, especially on some of the maps that they played. But the ball brig Anna just ain't it, especially if you're playing with a Zaya. I think if you're going to play brig Anna, just play monkey Diva, uh, monkey Zaya. If you really want to play the double bubble, but hey, you know, Chinese contenders going to do Chinese contenders things. It's definitely a different way of playing the game. Like I haven't seen that many grabs in a, in a hot minute. So hope you guys found it interesting. Um, as I said, I hadn't watched that match and it, it was, it was good. Team Chaser almost dropped the spaghetti. Like they should not have lost Busan. Um, but congratulations to them. It'll be interesting to see which of those players do get signed. There are rumors, um, about some of these players, but honestly, we just don't really know yet. So thank you very much for watching once again, and I will see you guys next time.